Magical Pals and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kat. I do Disney related content every week. So yesterday I was able to go to a giant indoor flea market in my town and I found some really great things. I'm going to show you the clips that I recorded while I was there and some tips of what I like to do when I am looking for certain items and spending the day flea market shopping. Today I'm in town and we have Big Ag Center. It is filled right now with tons of vendors selling really cool stuff. So when I am going to big events like flea markets or places like that, I have an idea in my head of what I want. So I know that I don't want to buy anything that I can make myself. I don't want to buy anything that I've seen in the store and I have a running list of things that I'm looking for. Mostly Disney for me. But I did find this really big box. It caught my eye. Definitely had to get it. On a side note, my non-slip sock is living a lie because it keeps sliding. So my pro tip is to wear socks that do not slide while you're shopping. guys a little bit of how to tips and insight on what I do when I am looking for vintage Disney items. I like to do is make sure that I'm wearing comfortable clothes bring my own bags that is really important because not all the vendors have bags and then you're gonna be carrying a lot of stuff around if you can bring a friend <laughs> it's a lot more fun that way and if you need help carrying stuff they're right there um, another great tip is to go in with an idea of what you want or what you're looking for kind of narrow it down i know that i'm not going to buy anything that i can make um, anything that i've seen in the store in the last year or so and um, anything that i know that i can easily get online in better condition and i'm definitely honed in on certain items like vintage fabric um vintage mickey um Mem memorabilia, um, books, and things along that line. I also look for things that I know are in my collection or in my family's collection. So just kind of let your eyes roam over everything. Don't feel like you have to hurry through. Take your time. In places like this, you can try to haggle, but most people don't appreciate it. Um, I just, I just like to start up a conversation with the people, um, and if they're open to maybe bringing the price down or um, another thing that I love to do is get things in bulk. Another thing is to just have a pleasant attitude. Um, these places can get very, very congested, very loud, and people get a little um, frustrated. So just make sure that you go in there happy and relaxed and really look at the prices. If it's something that you think is a little overpriced and you're like, meh, think about if it's something that you really need in your collection. So I can't wait to show you guys what I got, so stay tuned. Okay, so let me show you what I got. I'm really excited. All together, um, I spent $20. I go in with a budget, um, especially with flea markets and stuff like that. I want to make sure that I go in knowing how much I'm going to spend. Um, I only take $40 cash with me and I try to get them in fives um, so that people won't have to break 20s. It's usually a pain in the butt for the vendors and it's also kind of annoying for me. Um, so I make sure that I know what I want to get. And for this particular trip, I wanted uh, vintage fabric and vintage books. And I didn't find any fabric. Oh, I was so bummed, but I found so many books. So like I said, I got all this for $20. And the first thing that I found is this adorable Donald in pink. It's like a hot pink. It is from 1971. I did a little research on him and he's actually retailing for about $10. Um, and um, I think I ended up paying three for him. So this was absolutely perfect. Um, my husband is going to put this on his desk and it's really sturdy. You can tell that it's 
not quite the plastic that we're used to. It's the late 70s, <laughs> heavy duty kind, and I really like that. Um, the next thing that I got was a different vendor. He had $6, um, and I just kind of like chatted up with him and explained like why I was getting them and about my channel, and he actually offered them for $3. So, win me. Um, and what I love about this is they're all in their bags. Not only that, but included two of the um, having your bags from 1998 and you don't see the black cauldron at all so this is fantastic this is something like if you were a big fan you would totally frame and Pocahontas too that's pretty cool um and you also have Lady and the Tramp how cute is that normally I wouldn't keep stuff like this but I really love um the black cauldron one like that is a rarity and I will like it. Okay, so what they are is they're actually um, video cassette tapes on wheels. So this one is Flubber. I'm not going to take them out of the bag. I normally would to display them, but I think I just want to keep these all together because it is the whole set. It's all six. I mean, it's pretty cool. So you have Flubber, you have Pocahontas in her ball gown from Pocahontas 2. Um, Mickey, um, this is in his, looks like, um, band outfit. Very cool. And then my personal favorite, because again, you hardly ever see Black Cauldron things. You have that dog person thing. <laughs> I mean, that is awesome. I've never seen him. And you have the penguin from Mary Poppins. Um, and the last one is Lady and the Tramp with the iconic um, spaghetti scene. Um, so that was pretty amazing for $3. Um, another thing I found while I was walking around is a lot of people have bins that say a quarter, 50 cents, a dollar. Sometimes you don't feel like digging through them, but I say do it, especially if you are a crafter and you want to come up with some really inexpensive ideas. While digging through one of the boxes for a quarter, um, I thought it was 50 cents, but it was actually a quarter, is this really cute hanging thing you put on the wall, and it is just flowers. And these flowers reminded me of... Alice in Wonderland. So um, in an upcoming video, I will show you what I do with this. Just going to put some eyes on these um, puppies. <laughs> I guess they look like little dogs. <laughs> um, and you have a really simple Alice in Wonderland for really inexpensive. Um, so I got really lucky and I went up to this um, one booth and the lady had a big box of Disney vintage books and she's really really nice so if you're watching hi and um she wanted to sell it in bulk in the whole box and I'm fine with that I prefer to buy in bulk um so that I you know get a little bit of a better deal and I also get more cool stuff now I, I've taken a quick peek but we're gonna look at this together so the first thing we have is so we have a frame this is an old vintage frame too because it has um, the nails <laughs> instead of anything else. Um, I'll have to check this out, see if there's anything good in it. But this is a vintage postcard. I can tell because it's like, oh yeah, this is the old photo postcard. Let's see if I can do this without ripping it. Um, this is from 1984. Um, and this is um, Mickey and Minnie. It looks like that's Japan. That's what it says on the thing. And um, I can totally reuse this frame, so winning. Oh, I paid um, uh, $15 for this. So, you know, I really feel that I got my value, especially in the one thing. I can't wait to show you. <laughs> so we have a uh, Walt Disney story of Mary Poppins. I love this. Um, <laughs> it's so cute. Definitely things that I can remake into other things. Um, Mary Poppins is one of my favorite. My husband loved this. This is a um, 45 and so you see on the one side it says Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and the side safety first stop look and listen um, this is a uh, 1925 I'm no fool so these are the really important songs that you need to stay safe 
Jimmy Cricket is telling you how to stay safe. So this is really, really cute. And then we have two of these Mickey Mouse and the Pet Show. Um, there's some great pictures in here that I am definitely going to be reusing. And then the little Mickey Mouse. And I have seen these in antique shops for $5 each. So I am very happy about those. Again, another framed picture. Um, this is Mickey and Minnie. Um, I'm not going to use the picture most likely, but the frame is still in good condition. It's probably worth about a dollar. I did find a dime. So actually it was $14.90. So woohoo! I'm rich. <laughs> this is what I was really excited about. So I bought this book um, a few months ago at Goodwill for about $2 and I have used the heck out of it. I have used it in so many projects. I have sold things that I made from it. It is fantastic. When I went to look for one like it online and even in antique stores, I have found it for $25 to $50. Um, now that's in perfect condition and I know I'm going to destroy it. So I didn't buy one. Um, but this one is pretty beat up. <laughs> it's missing its spine. It's definitely seen better days. But this is actually, this book is, is from, this book is from 1972. It is falling apart, but the pictures are still perfection. Um, I have used this so many times. Um, my friend Meg has this um, print that I sent her. I made into a collage. So this to me was absolutely worth the $15, the $14.90 that I spent. Um, I'm going to use the heck out of this. And that's why I went to the thrift. Um, this is so cool. This is Babes in Toyland. I actually just watched this on Disney Plus the other day. Um, so goofy. So much fun. I love the picture. Like, that looks like an, a nut Funicello. That is hilarious to me. Um, and this one is from 1961. It's in pretty are in good condition. I mean, I'm impressed. Another one of the 45s. This one has the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse song on it. Um, a cowboy needs a horse. Today is Tuesday and Little Cow. I do not know Little Cow. Maybe I should listen to this. But <laughs> I got another one of these. Um, I got a postcard that is actually a puzzle. It has not been opened. Interesting. Um, it was 2D from Rita. So, oh, hey, it's from Maryland. How you doing? Um, this one is, I'm never going to use this, but it's kind of cool. I might open it up and use it for something. Um, it's a table cover, but it's Mickey Mouse. And it looks like it's actually a different pattern on there. That is interesting. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. So this one is Mickey Mouse and the kitten sitters. As you can see, it's missing its back. But again, great pictures that I'll be able to reuse. This one is so cute. It is Donald Duck and Chippendale. Oh my gosh, look at that. And the pictures are absolutely stunning. Love that. Um, this is Disney Character Diary 1989. Where was I in 1989? <laughs> Where was I? I have no idea. Maybe middle school? High school? High school. Must have been. <laughs> This is so cool. Look at him. He's looking awesome. Uh, Minnie's looking pretty cool. Um, and there's no writing in it. It's still perfection. This I love this so much. This is really neat. Um, it, the dust cover is definitely seen better days. Let's just take it off because I'm not going to be keeping it. But the book itself is in great shape. It is the art of Walt Disney. Um, and it's stunning. There's some beautiful pictures in here. I really want to spend some time uh, reading this. It's definitely a good coffee table book. Um, I might not um, destroy this one just because it is more of a storytelling, like a, like a process telling book. Um, but there are beautiful pictures and it's definitely something that I'm interested in. And last we have, and I probably will throw this away, but it is really cute. <laughs> it is a little, um, what do you call those? Table mats? Um, I actually think we had one of these. I think I did really well. Let me know below which item was your favorite and what you would like to see me do with these items. I hope you're having a fabulous week and I'll see you real soon. Bye guys.